Hello everyone! It's another video. Welcome to my channel. I'm Simon. If you're new, subscribe and do hit the like button if you enjoy this. It really helps with the support. Shout out. Okay, I've got a new stove, so I'm gonna show you that. And before that, shout out to Gaz from Gaziano Outdoors. Mate, sorry if that's butchered the name of your channel. He sent me this package, which I won on his channel giveaway. And it's amazing, it has, it has everything. It has like hand warmers, headlamps, there's a torch in there. Absolutely brilliant, mate. So thanks so much for that, really appreciate it. I really, really do. I've never won anything before, so um, that's amazing. So yeah, I've got a new stove, which I'm gonna make a coffee with, sit down and talk through a little bit and show you. I recently did a stove video. The reason I've stopped walking sort of stranded uh, yeah I did a stove video maybe last week I think it was and about what kind of my best stove is that I kind of use at the moment and from that I realized everyone was talking about this one stove and and I sort of had my eye on it for a while anyway so I thought I need to get that so I'll talk through that a little bit and then earlier in the week actually yesterday morning I went for a little walk I was trying to catch a sunrise again and Anyway, here's that video. Right. Hello. The aim. The aim is sunrise. We've got a nice clear sky for once. So planning to get a sunrise in the local park. Looks nice in the morning. Early morning lit up. Really expecting to see police tape on my early morning walk. The point of the sunrise is to see the sunrise. It's blue enough sky, clear enough sky. Sunrise is over there. Kind of hoping it would be over the city and I get it as it was coming off the horizon. So we're a bit too low down. That's fine. Still great to get up early for a nice walk in the park in the morning. Not as planned, but that's fine. That looks pretty cool. And it's great to have this local park. Check out the new stove, shall we? I will get one. I'm determined to get a sunrise. We'll get one eventually. Pretend the camera was already there. Just pretend the camera's already there. Don't make eye contact. It's like some kind of animal has been at that tree. I'm just surrounded by some kind of fallen, fallen tree. Oh, people. Ah, what's going on with that? Straighten up. Straighten up. This is so cool. Woodpecker, I don't know if you can hear that. Love it. I love being out in the morning in nature. It's just feeling more and more comfortable. So nifty little packaging for this little bad boy. Have a look. Ah, oh, you guessed it. How's that for the thumbnail? So it's the Trangia or Trangia fuel burning stove. 
So as mentioned, everyone was commenting about this stove and I've been looking at it for a while. It's just cheap as fuck. Um, I think it cost me like 12 pounds. And got it off Black's. Black's delivery took a re nearly two weeks, I think. So it's pretty shocking at the moment. So ordered this a while ago and then recently got it through. It is fueled or works on bioethanol. Bioethanol, I realize is not hard to get hold of. So if you're buying one of these for the first time, I got it from a hardware store, B&Q, and I bought like a litre of the stuff, or maybe probably even more than that, for $9.99. To me, that represents good value versus the gas-powered stoves. So the gas-powered stoves are fueled by gas, and those things cost about four or five pounds, and they last a while, but I'm thinking this is gonna be way more efficient. I tried it out last night and used a little bit of fuel just to boil up half a litre of water, and it didn't seem to use too much fuel. There's still quite a lot left in there. So I'm thinking I've bought a load of this stuff for 10 quid. That would be two gas canisters, which might last me like maybe three months at the max. And I'm thinking it'll last a lot longer. So I think I've got something which is going to be a bit more efficient than and cheaper to run. It doesn't weigh anything. I'll put the weights down below. So it's super lightweight and the, pro the packaging is pretty nifty, as you see. It's got the instructions on the bag, which is kind of quite, quite unique, really. I've not seen that before. And comes in a nice little box, so quite impressed with that. So I tried it out last night, just boiling half a litre of water, and it did take a while. It took about 10 and a half minutes. So a litre is gonna take, here's my accounting maths brain, it's gonna take about 21 minutes, which is a long time, but it's a nice ritual to do it with this. It just felt like it's quiet, and I've never used a like a stove like this, a quiet one. Obviously the gas ones make a lot of noise. MSR Pocket Rocket 2, which is the other one I have, apparently that boils three uh, a litre of water in about three and a half minutes. So this is a lot slower based on that test I did last night. However, who cares? Like, why does it matter how long it takes to boil water? Unless that's it, uh, sorry. Some people that's gonna matter. For me, I don't give a shit. So <laughs> it's quite nice that it kind of sort of quite a nice ritual to sort of wait what you know sort of warming your hands over it or whatever and and just the silence of it was was impressive so let's get it out so to speak and I'm being really rude on this one and uh, and I'll show you what it's all about and how it looks and I'm sure some of you have seen these before but do stay tuned if uh, if you want to check this out It goes without saying, be really careful if you're using this, especially for the first time, because fuel, when it burns, isn't easy to buy ethanol, isn't, isn't easy to, to see. So you could easily, it could easily be a light and you could not feel it. Um, I've got these things. So this cost me about six pounds. The stove, as I mentioned, 12 pounds. So it really, the, the total cost wasn't much at all. That just sits neatly on top of it. I got, bought this separately off Amazon. I put the links to everything below and it just sits on top. And then, because without that, you're not gonna, you're gonna snuff out the flame if you don't have some kind of a, just dropped it, if you don't have some kind of a stand for it to sit on.
whilst that's boiling, we've got some decent coffee today. Because you know I love coffee. What the whole jar, man? A velvety creamer, crema strength. Looks like hot chocolate, doesn't it? Good use of the Tokes 550 milliliter cook pot if you've got one of these. Got all of that coming out. Just bang that on top. It's just gonna vent through there and a little bit out the side. Cheers. Cheers to dry, oh, that's good. Cheers to dry January. Cheers. I think I've mentioned that every single video so you can tell I'm missing it. Two more weeks, come on, stay strong. It doesn't help that there are five weekends in January. And then you snuff out the flame just by dropping this little thing. Just drop that on top and it just completely snuffs out the flame. The alcohol that's left stays inside the container and you can just tighten it up. It's got a rubber band seal on the inside so it's not gonna leak. Although I've heard some stories of, of some people having issues with that, but um, yeah, and obviously this is this is brand new, so I'll let you know if, if I get any issues. And it's super super packable as well, right? It's tiny, so I'm I think it's brilliant. Honestly, it's silent. It's it's going to be cheap to run, and I think it's a great great little stove. Right, let's get this packed away, shall we? Sorry about the noisy birds. It's mating season. Ah, sorry about that. It's, yeah, it's a bit noisy. Leave no trace, obviously. And I'm off. Uh, I will see you on the next video. I'm just going to drink my coffee whilst I walk through the woods, as you do. I'm going to pack it separately from my other stuff because it's obviously fuel. If that leaks, it's going to be pretty dangerous and get all over my stuff. So I'm not going to put it in my cook pot, which is what I'd normally do with my stove. I'll keep it completely separate, probably in the bag that Trangia have sent, because that seems pretty durable and it's gonna stop anything leaking. So that would be my recommendation. Uh, yeah, see you on the next video. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and do subscribe if you're new. It really helps support the channel. Take care everyone, see you next week. Bye. <laughs>